We look forward to your show on Slough, and so far I heard it will be a great MOSFET and great tunes. So can you please introduce yourself in three words and your band in three words? Uh, I'm James, I play drums. I'm Dave, I'm lead singer and temporary guitar player at the minute as well. Nice, and now three words on Slough. Old school track. There we go. Nice. I would say it's old school press. That was my impression. But then, at the beginning, it was punk, punkies, and now it's rest. So, how did the sound develop over the years? Um, I think the Mike Nigel, who's not here today, uh, we'll get to that. But he he grew up on on punk, got into got into the punk scene, bands like Discharge, The Exploited. Pistols and so on, and then just evolved over time in, into the into the thrash metal scene. I think he, he got got an ear for for thrash. Um, released their their first. I don't think it was an album. I think it was an EP. And then got into the thrash metal scene, and then put together Power from Hell, which was the first album which started the whole thrash thrash scene for, for onslaught and the UK thrash. So, and then there it's um. Certainly evolved over the years. Coming into the yeah, like there's still you can tell with a lot of the 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 riffs in the new in the newest albums and songs that they are still very much punk based, but production is a little different to a punk record. So you could probably take a majority of the riff and put them in a punk environment and it would work. You know? Cool, and it's good that it's uh, managed to maintain that element throughout. Yeah, it's nice one. So I will be looking into the riffs, and I'm going uh, when you perform. I'm going to look for some punk elements. Nice one. So UK Trash. We had the big four on our uh, channel. Uh, like we spoke with Destruction, uh, Tankard, as well with the American metal scene, Flotsam and Jetsam. So I'm wondering the UK Trash metal scene. What makes you stand out? And what do you say? This is UK and this is Onslaught. One of the originals. The originals. Um, I, th I think if you put the, the obviously you've got you, your your American Big Four, which was um, Slayer, Megadeth, Metallica, and Anthrax. And it depends who you talk to of the of the UK um, of the UK thrash Big Four. Um, it would be Acid Rain. Centrix, Onslaught, and Sabat, um, which is some of the names that crop up most with with the big four of, of British thrash. But there's um, there's there's a hell of a lot of bands that were that were about, but they're the ones that come to mind. Um, still going, all still going today. Centrix is still going. Uh, Sabat aren't uh, well. I think they're the only band that aren't going anymore. But definitely, they were the pioneers of the of bringing the you know UK thrash to the light. And people. Uh, what makes uh, what makes the sound so UK or so fresh? What was, uh, what did you feel there? How do you say uh, the sound is so distinctive of your genre? Oh, that's a hard one. Yeah, it's um, when I look back at the old uh -huh. onslaught records, like there's very much like a at the end of the kind of. They're not satanic, by the way, but like that kind of theme, the satanic theme throughout, throughout the music comes from, you know, like bands like Venom and some others, but like, for me personally, that's like, that's what I think of like, the like, whole British thrash is that kind of like, you know, there's, there's still a the, like, uh, theme of, of dark roots, so to speak. Yeah, that's that's how I see it. Lyr lyrically, I think it's um it's remained consistent lyrically throughout the years, but also jumped into other categories for you know more more about current um current topics of how the world is today, and because Nigel writes writes the lyrics for the band, 
Um, he's, he's like the mastermind behind the music. Um, being the longest standing member of the band, he's, he's remained consistent throughout the time. I think, I think pin down like the, the UK British sound production would come down to a lot of it as well. When you can different ends of the country with your UK thrash and your, um, American, like US thrash and then the German thrash and it's sort of, UK thrash is always sat a little bit further behind US and German thrash, but I think if you if you think of UK thrash, you'll think of those those bands and, and Venom was a good shout as well. But yeah, like Onslaught, Zetrix, Acid Rain. Um, so yeah, it's all fast. It's, and there's different different elements to the different bands, but you will hear like the punk influences in the earlier Onslaught, and as it's got further, as it's evolved throughout the year, it's got a bit more technical. Obviously, technologies become more advanced and production gives it that bigger sound anyway um, but you can easily pick out what would be I and mean, we're playing some stuff tonight that was based around original riffs that Nigel had had back in the 80s and he brought them into the into the latest stuff um, so if you if you know the sound of punk you'll you'll pick it up straight away um, I should to listen now more careful because I uh, I Lost girl, I lost punk. So yeah. I'm going to search now definitely for the punk influence. And thank you for highlighting and explaining this. It definitely stands out of the British, uh, the British and the Germans stand out. I think indeed the Hispanic theme to violence that are, uh, whereas I think German is much more society. So nice one to uh, compare. So uh, Antichrist, your album uh, released two two years. Ago and, and the band is 40 years as well, so it was rarely released. So, how, how was this special moment to rarely release the album? And in general, how is you have a band or being a band that's 40 years old? Uh, it's certainly surprising when we, when we look back on it. Like, we've been been friends for years now before we were even joining the band, you know, both of us have. And uh, but then I remember they came back with Kenny Peace. So and it was kind of like a, it was a big moment, like when Scott returned back to the scene after like their hiatus, like it was a massive thing, you know, and then they started gigging, and then that's how kind of around the same time we sort of started bumping into them from playing four shows with them, and, and that's how we got to know you guys. Uh, we played with a band called Paul Riff Stampede, um, back in the UK, and now uh, we've Quite often support Onslaught, and we had another like black metal band together, like which yeah. we would. Yeah, but we found fans of Onslaught before. Yeah, yeah nice. I would say, and they're quite local to where we grew up as well. So yeah, not far. So we we get the chance to see them, and in the old bands, I mean, we've been in several different yeah. bands when we were young. And then just wrapped into yeah, wow, and then people recognise. Yeah, that, that that's that's basically where we got. We, I mean, we both grew up different times. When did you join? 2018. And I joined in 2020. Uh, when I left the band, and I was only supposed to be standing in whilst he could play a show. And I ended up carrying on from there. So that well, like, was like certainly a pinch moment. Sometimes we like get to do what we what we was always wanted to do since growing up, and then like you know watching them do it as well, and then being like, oh great, yeah. suddenly we're on the stage. The guys we were watching, you know. Yeah, they, so they, they still love it as well. Yeah, they, yeah. I mean, we're we're pushing our like, towards our forties now, and then yeah. and then you know, they got they're older than that. They've, years been, years. They, they've toured the world countless yeah. times, and they still they still that's all they want to do. They still live and breathe like playing live. It's the best. Personally, for me, the best part of being in a band is the live performance. Some people like being in the studio, you know, like Peter Wayne, our guitar player, he would much rather be in the studio. But to me, to get up on stage, if you stood on stage of Onslaught, it's insane. Yes. So, and to keep the music alive as well, I mean, lineups don't stay, they always stay forever. There's always member, cha- member changes, and it all depends whether those original members want to continue pushing the band and keep and continue playing live with the band or call it quits. So, Onslaught is, is soldiered through have been through members but remain consistent throughout and always been consistent with album releases apart from 
when they, they had their original break in 1991 after the Insert of Sanity album. They had that sort of high age until they released Killing Beast from there, from 2005 onwards. They've been consistent with releases and tours and making sure that they get around to every part of the world they can to, yeah. to give the music to the band. Nice one. And uh, yeah, I imagine the life experience would be great. So you look forward to playing more the songs, obviously, but any other things you look forward to where Onslaught is heading to? Uh, certainly next year. We've got a few things which will be coming out. Uh, Planning tools, gigs, but we uh, a release in March. March. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. we look forward to so uh, keep an eye. Some good stuff there, some, uh, some surprising things for you and everyone. So, yeah, the, the release that we're putting out um, is, you know, it hasn't got a title yet, but it's going to be going back to the roots of Onslaught and what what inspired Nigel to start on floor and yeah, amongst other things it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. So it should be quite awesome. Can't divulge too much information just yet. Awesome, so top secret and the old school fans and it's next year will be um potential world tour of in an old school mm -hmm. set and that's what we're gonna take out with us. It's an old school set going back where it, all, where it all started. Amazing, so I'm diarying uh, this uh, in my agenda, I'm putting this, and yet this was all questions of Anslow. Thank you so much for taking the time on your busy schedule for uh, connecting. For the viewers, subscribe and like, as we have regularly more content, but most importantly, don't forget to uh, follow Anslow, the link uh, below, to be there when they release new music, so bye! Yeah, bye.